Aloha. You are watching F5 Web Media On Demand. I'm Peter Silva, Technical Marketing Manager with F5, and we're here in Las Vegas at the 2011 Interop Conference. We're actually in the Mandalay Bay Convention Center. Our booth is number 2027. And if you're not aware, F5 is providing the seamless, secure, and accelerated critical infrastructure services for interop.com, for all of the attendees coming to the show, and the exhibitors on the show floor. And I thought it would be interesting to talk to a couple of our partic participants, our consultants, who are managing the equipment in the Interop Knock to get a little behind the scenes of what's going on. So we have Paul Vesper, who's Director of Consulting. Thanks for joining us. Thank you, Peter. And Ken Bocchino, who's a consultant with F5, both longtime F5 employees. And so can you tell us a little bit about what's going on in this topology? I see a lot of colorful lines. And I think our viewers would be interested exactly what we're providing here at the show. Absolutely. So we have a long history with Interop. F5 Networks has been here for, I guess, since the beginning. But we have yet to be a participant in what we call the Network Operations Center in the core network for Interop. So this is the first year we're doing that. We're providing a number of services. Uh, one of the first things that our uh, attendees and the exhibitors will be associated with or will uh, utilize that is associated with that five is the www.interop.com website. Yep. And uh, Ken, why don't you tell us about what we're doing with www.interop.com? So, uh, as a external user um, coming in right before you get to the conference, you might be actually coming in by IPv6. Maybe you're on the Comcast network, you have an IPv6 address, and. Uh, before we got involved with the Interop uh, network, uh, Interop.com wasn't IPv6 uh, enabled. So we're actually providing IPv6 gateway services um, from one of our data centers, uh, one of the Interop co-location uh, data centers, so that if you're an external user coming to Interop.com by IPv6, you now can go check out, find out where you're going to be, uh, what presentations you might be going to, to visit and whatnot right before you get to the show. Oh, great. Okay. So, also, as I get to the show, I'm a user. The first thing I'm going to try to do is boot up my laptop or my iPad and get on the wireless network that's available for free to all of the attendees here. I understand we're also involved in that. Yeah, so you're going to come come down to the Mandalay Bay Convention Center. You're going to get on one of the wireless, many wireless networks that Interop uh, provides. And the first thing you're going to see is a wireless capture point. So we're actually in line with all the web traffic going in and out of the, uh, the building. And the first thing we're going to determine is if you're a new user. And if you're a new user, you probably want a bit of information about the show itself. Maybe uh, where you are from a map perspective or some of the conference materials uh, that you might be looking to get after you uh, just get it done with one of the presentations. So the F5 appliance is actually going to be able to detect that you're a new user. And it's going to go ahead and direct you to um, one of the portal sites that is providing content uh, to the actual uh, the attendees. Oh, great. So I'm a new user. I'm wandering around with my iPad. I click on the portal for content because I've got a class or a, a speech to go attend. How are we assisting with that process? So, yeah, as you know, there's about 16,000 plus uh, attendees in, uh, at Interop, and one of the challenges for the, the content site out on the web uh, for interop.com is that that's a lot of traffic that's going to be generated. Um, yesterday, there was over 20 gig of uh, data downloaded from the site. Um, so one of the things that we're actually doing is through web acceleration, uh, we're providing uh, cache content uh, in this local theater uh, for interop.com. So when you go to interop.com, you want to grab a presentation, a PDF, uh, or a video of one of the conferences, uh, presentations, you can actually get that content locally through an F5 web accelerator device. Um, this is something that you can deploy in multiple different theaters or in front of just web servers sitting in your local data center to ensure that the, 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 the actual client of your application is going to be slamming your web server. So we're actually providing that for interop.com. Great. So, also, IPv6, big buzzword in the industry. Uh, everybody's worried about running out of IPv4 space. I also understand that Interop this year is all IPv6. So, I know that we're very IPv6 uh, enabled. What are we doing specifically for IPv6 and the attendees here at Interop? So, one of the things that we're actually providing is a NAT64 gateway. Um, what this basically does is uh, we have a couple different wireless networks out there, there's one specifically uh, Interop NAT64, which is providing a gateway service uh, into the IPv4 environment. So, um, just to show this here on our, uh, our diagram, 
Um, so what we're actually going to be doing is that NATS Explorer Gateway is IPv6 only. So again, a lot of people haven't sort of done that jump from IPv6 to IPv4. Um, so what we're actually doing is providing a service that jumps you as an IPv6 only user on this network over to IPv4. Um, that uh, transitions through the actual F5 appliance. We're actually taking advantage of that gateway for other, um, other network vendors here as well if they're IPv4 only, uh, so that people can get to the IPv6 uh, interfaces of that gateway. Oh, very good. So, once we're in the NOC and we're working with all these guys, there's a ton of brain power over in the Network Operations Center. Uh, these guys, though, can't spend 24-7 in the NOC. This is the largest temporary network on Earth. Uh, what do we do to help provide those guys the ability to manage their equipment? So yeah, as you know, a lot of people uh, from a, a, a vendor perspective might not be physically sitting in the, the NOC facility over there, which is the only area within the uh, facility here that can get to some of the management interfaces of network gear. Um, a lot of them, I assume, will be at the pool. Um, so we provide some actual functionality, uh, SSL VPN type functionality to those, uh, to those uh, resources. Uh, we call this APM or Access Policy Management. Uh, and this is going to be deployed within all the different data centers or colos that we're at, as well as the actual NOC environment. Um, so through, um, through SSL VPN, through multiple devices, that could be your laptop, your tablet, your iPad, your, your phone, um, we're going to be able to get to the management networks that enable uh, those resources to do what they need to do. So this is something that can be easily deployed in an enterprise uh, to get your remote uh, road warriors or employees onto your actual internal enterprise network uh, through the simplicity of a browser. So my Android phone, I can go through the APM and get access to the NOC network. Yes, and you can do whatever you need to do to solve or ch uh, challenge a problem that might be occurring at any given moment. All right, so speaking of challenging problems, this one, it, it, it's amazing. Uh, I see this diagram here we have of uh, SNMP, Syslog, NetFlow, all this traffic that is getting, you call it a spray. Tell me what this is. This doesn't look good to me. So one of the interesting challenges of Interop is that we have multiple different network providers that are all trying to provide or demonstrate to the attendees here um, uh, their, their platform, their product. So one of those is the NetFlow environment. So there's a lot of NetFlow data that's coming from Cisco's so routers and, and HP's routers. Um, what we're actually been posed with is the ability to actually ensure that any vendor that wants a NetFlow spray or NetFlow stream or Syslog or SNMP um, from the actual network themselves, that they can do that. So what we're actually doing is we're using IRL logic and VIPs to go ahead and take a packet coming into the F5 and distribute that out actually to multiple different vendors all at the same time if they would like a stream. Um, so this is something that, that has been a challenge years past and everyone is looking to F5 to solve that challenge. And we did it quite quite efficiently. It sounds like a tricky eye roll. Um, actually, you know, surprisingly, there's only a couple lines. Um, you can do a lot of really powerful, neat stuff that you could not sit anywhere else in the network, simply in the iRule platform. Okay, good. So, we've got the entire NOC architecture and we're providing services to the attendees and to the vendors, and uh, people outside can get into this network and enjoy what we've done here. How do we make sure that it's constantly available and up and up globally available? So, that ties into the Global Traffic Manager, which is GTM. Uh, GTM is actually sitting in all the different data centers that we're working with, and it ensures that all the different services that we just spoke about are available to anyone that's asking for them. Um, this does this by having an intelligent knowledge of what the application is from a health perspective, and at any given moment, let's say when the knock actually shuts down and gets moved to all the different locations that it shows at, uh, it does it by directing those clients off to one of the other locations that that service is actually being serviced from. Great. Well, Peter, I think that's a pretty good overview of what F5 is doing with the Interop this year. That's real interesting stuff. So we have the diagram with all of these cool icons. Are we able to actually see the equipment in the NOC? Oh, you bet. We've got three redundant systems here in the Network Operations Center. We also have devices located in the San Francisco Colo as well as the Denver Colo. So let's, uh, let's go over and take a look at what we have in the racks. Come on, guys. Ken and I have made our way over to the Interop Network Operations Center, and it's actually real close to the F5 booth, just right through over there, just a few feet away. 
The Network Operations Center, as you walk into the main hallway, you would just make a right at the doors and you would find the glass wall knock. We have a pair of 8900s in San Francisco, a pair of 6900s in the Denver Data Center. We have a pair of 8900s just a little bit down this row. And then we have a couple pair of 8900s right here. And so a couple of other things. Well, I noticed that this thing has been up for five days. So a couple of the questions that I was going to ask you was, have you been here for five days already? And, and two, what were some of the reasons why F5 was invited to come in here and play in the Interop Knock? So yes, as you say, we've been here for about five days. But however, it all started in an undisclosed warehouse in San Francisco. For about two weeks, we and other vendors got together and actually built all this out, hot staged it up, and shipped it all out to Vegas on trucks. Um, so uh, when we got there, everyone was really excited to actually see F5 come in, because we were actually asked to solve some really interesting uh, challenges that no other vendor was able to do. Um, during the planning phases, uh, a couple of these challenges came up. Uh, we went over uh, in front of the whiteboard to the net flow type spray, the wireless capture type world. A lot of that no one else was able to do, and we were actually invited and we were able to deliver some of those functionality. So one of the things that Paul was saying earlier was that this is the largest temporary network in the world, is that right? Yeah, so we built this thing in about two weeks. We staged it here in about three days, and uh, this thing is quite, quite large. And it gets shipped around the world, actually, uh, making its way to Tokyo, Mumbai, uh, and then New York. So with all the equipment, all the users, all the systems, how do you keep track of all this? So the, the appliances actually give you a lot of functionality to, to latch into. We've actually built out an iPod, iPad app that allows us to kind of at a glance keep track of uh, what the status is on some of the virtual servers. Um, this is going to give us information like what things are up, what things are down, uh, how much traffic has gone through it. Uh, we're leveraging some of our partnerships with other uh, SMP vendors to get traps and email alerts um, to, uh, to make sure that we're online and always functioning and we can obviously assist with any other issues that might be going on at the time. This is really cool stuff. Thank you. So if there is a if there is a situation or what have you, you'll then get the alert there or probably be notified. I even noticed that on your earlier um, that you know unit going active. So it's even doing its its little stuff right here in the back end, and nobody out there knows what's going on. It's all seamless. It's all secure, and it's all accelerated. Exactly. Cool. So we're here at Interop, the 2011 Interop show at Mandalay Bay Convention Center. Again, the F5 booth is booth number 2027. The convention, the convention, I think the, there's some, there's a convention, no, it starts tomorrow, the official opening, right? Yeah, so the, uh, the show floor actually shows, opens up tomorrow and will be open to Thursday. Yep. So come on down if you're in Vegas. If not, continue to watch here. We'll be posting much more, many more videos in the coming days. So for Paul, Ken, I'm Peter for F5 Networks. Thanks for watching.